And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 Super Featherweight World Tournament. Here at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium, we've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. In the red corner, Hoshi taking on in the blue, Koji. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. Let's see what transpires in the ring tonight. That's right, some reserve match action here to kick the tournament off. Yeah, the winner of this match will have the opportunity to enter the tournament uh, if one of the fighters can no longer continue. That's right, so uh, a win here could buy them a ticket into the tournament. So both these guys are going to fight hard and try and get some entrance. Ooh, Booty Stone, some big low kicks. She seems to have uh, landed a few, a few nice jabs, but uh, like Koji definitely releasing a lot of power with the legs. Yeah, both these guys kind of a little bit of a feeling out process here. Mm. Mm. Similar styles. Koji, um, I love his combinations. He's so good with his hands. He's kind of um, kicking a little bit more here in the beginning of this match. Mm -hmm. Um, but look for look for blistering combinations from the fighter in yeah. the blue. Very similar styles here. Kind of uh, ooh, just super 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 heavy heavy kicks. Ooh. Yeah, Koji doing some great work on the lead leg there of uh, the fighter in the red yeah. Koshi. Ooh, nice knee. Yeah, clashing hard there, right by the ropes. And really nice actually headbutt action there as well. Minute 20 left. This first round of this reserve match, and these guys, you know, hitting pretty heavy in the first round here. Yeah, both really focusing on um, sort of heavy, powerful attacks. Um, Koji, probably a little, a little more patient here than we usually see in the first round. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Um, he's, he's focusing on hurting the lead leg there of Toshi. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um, nice right hand. Yeah, not a lot of output, but when they do output, it is it is heavy. Yeah, both both guys too are fairly flat-footed here in this first round. I think um, both looking to score big you know, with that flat-footed position, heavy low mm -hmm. kicks, ouch, and yeah. heavy hooking shots. And going pound for pound. I like that little ooh. Yeah, clashing the heads again. Koji trying to sneak the knee in there. Yeah. Um, when they meet in the middle, but um, what she's saying the other head collision of the heads there. Yeah. Those are the worst hits when you when you get hit, you think you're bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you, you get hit, it feels bad. Yeah, no yeah. Can, no one knows how bad it feels. <laughs> you're touching your head. There's no blood. Yeah, so yeah. You got no evidence. Exactly. For how bad exactly. It was. <laughs> that happens in training as well. Yeah. He's like, I have to bleed him right now. And he's perfectly fine, but he doesn't feel that way at all. And the opposite happens as well. Mm. You get hit and you're like, I'm fine, but then you know, it's gushing, yeah. gushing blood. You think it's sweating. Yeah, you yeah. Your and <laughs> the crimson tide. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Real, real patient this first round, but doing yeah. good work on the, uh, on the leg there. Yeah. I mean, um, I told she's not happy about the. Uh, the uh, collision with the head, yeah. but um, yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing it, but I guess he, they're both coming in at the same time, so I, yeah, yeah. I, can't, I don't think it's really Koji's fault per, per se. Just, yeah, yeah, they just yeah, they both kind of dip their heads a little bit yeah. as they step in, so uh, it, man, it's bound to happen. Yeah, it was a bit a little messy there. Mm. Yeah, not intentional, but uh, you know what you got to worry about is if there is another big collision of the heads, one of these guys getting cut, and then that affecting yeah. the outcome of the fight. Yeah. An accidental head bite. Exactly. I would think that Koji's going to be a little more active, mm -hmm. um, up his pace a little here in the second round. 
And be interesting to see how, how she deals with that. If he stays real flat footed and um, yeah, tries yeah. to use power, or if he will match. Yeah, he put a little hop in his step. Yeah, it looks like Toshi's up to it. Kind of, uh, just, and I think the feeling out process is done. Now these guys are going to mm -hmm. up the pace and uh, look to land more combinations. Yeah. Rack up these. Back up those points. Um, it's Ushi. <laughs> Not making many connections with that low kick. Uh, I don't know if he's doing it as a feint or kind of kind of coax Koji to, to make a move. Ooh, Koji landing that little sharp knee there, but unfortunately clasping the hands behind the head, which isn't allowed in the, in the rules. Yeah. Side. That's a, it's, a, it's an interesting knee because. He's kind of lifting it and driving it forward without mm -hmm. really driving his hip forward. He's staying low and tight. Uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, I wonder what he's expecting. He's kind of wait, trying to let Toshi run into it, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a short little body shot. Yeah. Lower body. Yeah. It's like a crossover again. Yeah. But, you know, part of that, too, is they just have real similar styles. Exactly, exactly. They, when they go in, they, they kind of put their head down and, and go to work. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big swing and a miss. Well, neither guy doing a lot of backing up, so mm -hmm. when you move forward and your head's down, you know, it's gonna have to. the other guy's gonna be there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, nice left. Some good, 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 good counter punch. Yeah. Right Goes out there again. Ooh, big kick, but Koji returns. The good exchange is Koji's just finishing them more often than Toshi. Mm -hmm. Maybe with the left hook or the right down the leg there. Yeah. These guys are it's wonderful moments to strike. Yeah, a little bit. You know, yeah, they're both a little more patient, and not necessarily in a bad way, just than I figured they'd be. Yeah. I was ex expecting more combination work and some bigger exchanges, mm -hmm. but um, you know, maybe they're saving that for the third round. Yeah. I think they're in there. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that knee again. That's yeah, a, yeah. a good knee. shot. A little sloppy there. It stays low and tight when he throws it and mm -hmm. just lifts up to the body. But under the K1 rule set, it's um, it's a good knee as long as he doesn't grab. Yeah, behind the, behind the head. Right? Yeah. It's not a, bad, not a bad position at all. We have about 20 seconds here in the second round. Um, pretty even fight so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, there's the kind of moments like that where, you know, it got, got a little bit sloppy, um, but I think it's just, ooh, big, big knee. Could you just, just probably edge him just a little bit? If yeah. there was going to be a difference in scores, I would imagine it would be slightly in Koji's favor. Yeah, he's a lot, doing a lot cleaner. Um, Toshi's looking a little bit wild. Yeah. Uh, at times. Yeah, 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 it's totally, you know, um, more impression than damage yeah. at this point. But the third round is really important. Mm -hmm. They've kind of both got to make something big happen. Yeah, there. yeah. Let's replay. Yeah, it kind of, um, it's getting real low. Ooh, yeah. Nice knee there. Yeah, yeah, good knee. Just down the center a little bit more, it would slide in the garden. It would be so clean. Just mm -hmm. on the outside there. Some advice from the corner. Do some combos with the low kick, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, he's kind of abandoned that low kick for the first round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was unfortunate, because that, that was a great yeah, he was shot. He was nailing it. Well, and, you know, now is when that thing would be paying dividends. Yeah, yeah, after that second round. And they're working to, working to that front leg. Yeah. Here we have it, and it's pretty even. Um, you said Koji definitely um, probably getting a few more points just by uh, just this being a more, more finesse uh, with, his, uh, with his output mm -hmm. um, compared to Toshi. But uh, yeah, I think it's anybody's, anybody's match. Yeah, yeah, to Tosh is definitely not out of it at all. Um, a, a big shot, too, could, could change mm -hmm. the momentum for either fighter here. Big mid kick there. He's going back to the kick. Um, mid there and low earlier, so that's good. good for him. Just that 
tucked position they both wind up in. If someone throws an uppercut mm. or a knee to the head, I mean, they probably have some luck as well. Yeah. Speaking of uppercuts, uh, I watched your uh, Instagram tutorial. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah, for especially for the long range shot, um, when you want to kick afterwards, mm -hmm. it helps it throw a good long punch. Yeah, you different positions of the fist. Yeah, yeah, it was a good video. Yeah. I had a friend um, competing in MMA um, back in the day. Did that in the States and he threw an uppercut and uh, didn't have good position in his hand and he broke it. Wow. He wow. finished the fight with a with the shot, wow. but then he couldn't fight for months after. Wow. Ah. This is yeah, from the clash. Yeah. And that's what like finally happened. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what you don't want to happen. See if even Toshi was to win here and advance in the, and get into the tournament, he'd be at a real disadvantage. He's cut back. With the slice on his eye there. You have it. Uh, yeah, it's not, you know, if anything, Toshi came in there. Yep. Um, and it was, he just had his head low and Koji was moving with yep. an uppercut. Yep. He got it good, man. Yeah, he's, he's cut pretty deep there. Yeah, man. Not intentional from either guy. Just yeah. unfortunate. They're, they're just height-wise and mm -hmm. style-wise. Yeah, man, they just, it's like fighting fighting a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're really, they really are very similar. <laughs> yeah. He wants to keep on going. Uh, yeah, I think, it, yeah. Probably I'm not a pro fighter, but I'd, I'd be like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> just, just a reserve match. Yep, <laughs> yep. So that's why they're there. <laughs> For the glory. Not, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I grabbed again, but that's a good knee. Mm -hmm. It's just on the edge of the rule set. Um, yeah. When you clasp like that. Ooh, big, big. Ooh. Yeah. In the final minute. And this, this, yeah, this, this is where the, you know, the cream of the crop are going to break away yeah. when they need to. It's become a punching, become a boxing match, more or less. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's a good effort. That's what he needs to do, but he's got to set that knee up. Yeah. Yeah, both these guys, just from their low posture, you can tell that yeah, they're, they're looking to unload the mm -hmm. hands. Yeah, they want it. They want that big KO. Um, 30 seconds here uh, in this third round of the reserve match. Yeah. Um, Would you had a nice little breakaway there. You know, that, that's going to stick out in the, in the minds of the judges as well. Yeah. T Toshi's probably going to need to land something real big. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting a little bit of uh, Sloppy Joe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, two seconds left here, and here we have it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's, I think the, uh, the fight started off pretty well, but I think, yeah, it kind of devolved mm -hmm. in the third round there. Yeah, um, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, Koji, I would imagine, did enough to, to edge it out here. Mm -hmm. um, However, you know, the thing is, both these guys, no one's going to be real satisfied with their performance. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, they seemed they wanted to, to throw down, but they were just so similar. Yeah. They just, you know, kept on clashing, headbutting, getting wrapped up, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know, when you win, you know, you want it to be decisive and mm -hmm. clean, and as a fighter, at least. You know, sometimes that just can't happen. So, yeah. Yeah, well, they're, they're good sportsmanship. Yeah. I mean, that is just, that's how she goes, man. Yeah.
But Koji buying himself a, you know, yep. a ticket to a possible entry into mm -hmm. the tournament later on, depending on what happens. And a W uh, on, his, on his record. Yeah. Lots of fans there in the crowd. Hmm. Yeah, he's got a lot of potential. Well, there you have it at the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 Super Featherweight World Championship Tournament at Yoyogi National Gymnasium at the Second Gymnasium. See you next time.